Hi, I'm Anna Summer, and I will be talking about our texture assignment. In this chapter, we discuss the four different types of texture. This includes actual, simulated, abstract, and patterns. This is the first close-up of my assignment. This picture represents actual texture, which is the type of texture the viewer can feel by touching the image. I chose to paint an ocean. This is because when I paint it, I know I can use the entire value scale. The color I used was obviously blue, but I decided to mix it with white, black, or gray to create the tint, tone, and shade of value. In this close-up, you can hopefully see where the texture is located. I had decided to integrate the texture in the white parts of the waves. This is because, in my opinion, I think it would emphasize the wave more. I definitely struggled with making sure that there was texture in this picture, mainly because I had to keep layering paint onto the paper and wait for it to look and feel like it, like there was something there. I used, to integrate the texture within this picture, I used some tissue paper. In this close-up, you can see that there is no texture, but it still appears as if there is. This is known as simulated texture, which is the illusion of an actual texture. In this picture, I have compared the first and second image to each other. My intention of this of the second picture was to replicate the first image to where the viewer can see that they are similar in their ideas. I feel as if I accomplished this task, although I do not think I could have although I do think I could have been more detailed in the second image. On the right side, this is my abstract texture piece. Abstract texture is when the artist decides to go from the original actual texture, which is on the left side, and attempt to recreate it in another approach. In other words, an abstract approach. This is the abstract texture piece. Abstract texture is a texture devised from the appearance of an actual surface, but rearranged or simplified by the artist to satisfy the demands of the artwork. Abstract texture is when the artist decides to go from the original actual texture piece and attempt to recreate it in another approach, in other words, an abstract approach. In this close-up, you can see that there is no physical texture in the painting, but it looks as if there is, mainly because I layered the paint in several areas to mix colors, so that this way it looks like there is definition in my work when there actually isn't. In this last picture, this is the representation of my pattern. I went off of my actual texture image. I didn't know whether I should draw the pattern or paint it, so I decided to paint it because I did with the others. In this picture, I had to create a pattern based on my actual texture image, so I decided to do two waves. I wanted to do a darker wave under a lighter wave, mainly because of the mixture of each color. This is so I didn't use just one color in the entire pattern. The pattern is of my main focus, waves, if you can tell already. This one was harder than the others, mainly because it is hard to paint it because it is hard to paint these types of waves realistically, but also because there are so many ways I could have incorporated the waves into a pattern. All in all, we discuss the importance of these different textures and how they can be interpreted by the viewer when considering the mood of one's artwork. I hope that the mood of my image can be interpreted in different ways since that was my plan. When I added light colors against dark colors, I thought that the viewer could either see the dark colors and feel a sad tone or the light colors and feel happy. The message conveyed was that there is light and dark in the world and everything we see. I really enjoyed working on this piece and being able to compare the different types of textures side by side.